Good morning everybody and hello to my humble abode. Today I'd like to do a little bit of micro managing on the quarry. I'll show you what I mean. I downstairs here in the, where the tesseract is. I have a filter on this chest. This chest filters redstone, emeralds, lap, lapis lazuli and diamonds. So if the quarry finds one of these items it goes into this chest. And as you can see, we have four redstone, which is about the size of one block. And what that means is that the quarry has detected some um, some redstone. So what I'm going to do now is to go to the quarry. A few little mobs around there. That's an interesting hat. I wonder if we can get it. I think it's gone. Oh, there he is, look. Yep, just uh, got him. So, after the quarry, here we go. So, let's just change the uh, anger guider and turn off the hover mode. help me when I put night vision on does it because it gives you blindness <laughs> hover mode control space M and then that makes you go faster up that's about right so should 170 high Sometimes you get stuck on clouds because they're ice. Here we are. Getting into the coin now, so I shall put the hover mode back on in a second. So, you can see the coin is has already dug a long way down and it would need to be around about level 12 or 16 before it hits uh, any of my interesting things but we have quite, quite a lot of water here which we're going to have to remove fortunately I brought some buckets with me so here's one but here's one source block if I'm close enough there's one source block and there'll probably be another one or two We have to wait a few seconds before the... That's interesting. I'm not sure whether the quarry's not done this block. But the quarry doesn't pick up all bridges, which is also rather interesting, so we're going to do this manually. Plenty obsidian. This must be the copper iron, I think. Did not risk. Sorry, got it completely wrong. Oops. Don't want to get too near these things, they hurt. Another source. 
from the ah no okay so what tends to happen within the mining so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put down a uh, what am I going to put down I'm going to put down my energy cell I got a capacitor bank which I can use for charging up the the hammer and the um, magnet. So what I'm going to do first of all is dig up this. All this coal at the same time. And what we'll also do is we'll now see if we can find anything interesting. And by that I mean uh, diamonds or lapis or emeralds. As you see this summit is very, very fast. I'll pick up that one. Not the yellow, I don't care about that. Right. So the way I do that, and I hope this fully this won't make the, the video too boring, is in my knapsack. I have an OD scanner, which is perfect for this thing. And I also have a, ta a tape measure. And with the OD scanner and the tape measure, we can roughly figure out where we need to dig to find stuff like um, diamonds. So let's start over here. In around about the corner here, so this is a good place to start. So I'll put this down here. And then we shall walk five blocks away. So that says 10 meters, which is actually let's do this way, eight meters. It's supposed to be five by five, so I reckon here. Maybe. That's seven meters south, that's seven meters south, that's good. So what I shall now do is to put down just a, a redstone marker. Redstone lamp as a marker. Did I just do that? So that's number four. Right, now let's start from here and then apply the um, scanner. See what it says. 30 redstone, 20 coal, and 5 silver. So nothing really interesting here. So let's see if we can find some of the redstone. Oops, keep away from that. You'll notice with the um, with the magnet, you don't tend to lose anything, even with the lava in the way. I've no idea how fast it's on obsidian. Let's see. Ooh, there's a lot of lava. So I shall now let's put some water over here to from those water buckets we caught earlier on. Let's have a look. Now I'll keep the magnet. Uh, here's the end of it at the moment. Okay, that will put out one lot. And if I put it here, I should put out the other lot. So, so that wasn't too interesting. Let's have a look what else we've got around here. Where's my scanner five? Here we have a lot of things. Raconium dust, redstone, 43 redstone. Okay, see so what we can find. We've got some more lava, so that's no big deal. Oops, wrong one. Let's try here. Well, it's got to be down five blocks, so we're going to find the thing. There's nothing really exciting over there. Some 
gold. Stone. See, now I have a few floating things around me, so let's get rid of some of this stuff that I've got on me. I don't need any of these. Should charge up fairly quickly. Okay, how much now fully charged up again? Let's go and see what else we can find. More lava. So I don't have any more buckets of water with me, so I shall just have to go and find some. I think what I did previously was to say, have a water area. Let's just get him. Because it's coming towards day night time. Do now is also a quick sleep. So it's keep an eye on my uh, mini map to see if there are any mobs coming to attack me. See what else we've got around here. Um, where's my scanner gone to? Let's start over here this time. Rubies, redstone, ferrous, cinnabar, nothing really of any value there. Uranium, silver, ruby, no, nothing interesting there. Just let's. Redstone. Nope. Eight to six redstone, that's a good number. Let's take this with us. Ah. Up to the water. Let's just put the water down here first of all. Even though that's uh, going to interfere with my. Uh, Digging. Oops. Dig the side bits though, because they they won't be got by the. Um, it's really fast, this isn't it? Okay. And to pick this up, of course, I use the crescent hammer. I think. Shift right click should pick up the capacitor bank, not lose any power. Some golden uranium over here, that's probably worth our taking while I'm here. And more lava. I shall I should deal with that lava because it might be problematic.
and then I shall go home because I don't really think this is the most interesting thing for people to watch but it's just here really is an example that you can do this type of thing and I did at the start maybe I'll start doing it now okay so I'm going back home now let's uh, get the hang glider ready I'm going to do next is to go and gather some hemp seeds or um, industrial hemp seeds that we would need for the rest of for some doing some windmill stuff here which looks like a good place let's go down here with plenty of plenty of grass down here and what I'm simply going to do is to um, just pick up some of this grass and find your pick up a whole load of seeds to what to pick up and after a while we'll see if we get any of the right type of hemp seeds for that. And then what I intend to do is to set up a multi farm. And it'll have to be a ma I think it'll have to be a manual multi farm. Let's have a look. Now I've got things floating around, so that's uh, good. And sure enough I've got some industrial hemp seeds which is what I was looking for. So, tell you now, let's just get rid of the stuff we've got here. Okay, we don't need any of these. And as I get rid of these, of course, the other things are pulled in by the ma uh, by the um, by the magnet. In fact, I've already picked up some hemp seeds, but let's just do a few more while we're here. We never know. We just. Pines harvest the crust up here. Yeah. You can already see things flying around. That's again because of the magnet. So let's get rid of what we've got. Ah, I think I've got some more hemp seeds. pick up quite a lot of stuff when you do that and you've got some dirt right okay let's carry on back home so now I've got enough hemp seeds to be able to do something useful there we I think we will find the uh, industrial hemp seeds in one of our chests. Probably this one. Indeed, there are three industrial hemp seeds. What we do with those? Oh, an enderman just got killed in the wool grinder. What we do with the hemp, hemp seeds is this: so I can now just take these out of here, and because I've got here a dense uh, item duct. If I put the um, redstone back into the um, like this, if I put it back into the ender part, into the ender chest at the top, it should disappear and not come into this chest. It should go straight down. Which I think it has done. If it doesn't, it stops the the process again. And you can see the 
it's working a hard way now what's happening here is I've got a retriever on one of the on the other chest on the other better barrel so it's pulling everything out at the same time so what I want to now do is to plant those hemp seeds did I pick them up yes and I think you just can simply treat those like other crops I've got brownstone here so I go fast so let's harvest these I've got three so let's just uh, put those down here and that's what they look like and these ones will already be harvestable if I right click these and now I've got some industrial hemp I reckon yes lots of industrial hemp and lots of seeds as it happens it generates quite a lot of seeds so what I'm hoping to do is to get a manual farm to put these in so let's put let's get some more of these and plant those Yes, I have. We can simply right click one of those and put some more down. So we've got here bell peppers. Right, and that will do. I hope you enjoyed watching. And next time we shall try. I shall set up a farm and see if we can get the industrial hemp to grow in the farm. Until then, bye for now.